Welcome back, Weld Tube. I'm Andres Moya, pipe fitter welder from El Paso, Texas. And today I'm here with my buddy, David Cerisa. Hi guys, my name is David Cerisa, pipe fitter welder from El Paso. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to fit and weld some inch and a half carbon steel socket welds. All right guys, we're gonna get ready to start fitting up this inch and a half carbon steel T. We're gonna simulate that this pipe is fixed. So we're gonna to have to start tacking on the bullhead side first. We'll get it all squared up and leveled. David's gonna be welding today and I'll be fitting. All right, so you may be wondering, uh, what is a socket weld? Basically this pipe is gonna go into this socket of this fitting in here, sit down in here. So go ahead and stab this on here. So this pipe sits in here and we are gonna give this pipe a 1 8 gap here. You don't want your pipe bottomed all the way out into the bottom of the socket. There needs to be room for thermal expansion. As you can see, he bottomed the pipe out into the fitting, then he marked the line, and then he backed the fitting up. And we're gonna double check here. I've got 1 8 filler wire. As you can see, it's got a 1 8 gap right there. So we're good there. Just gonna go ahead and level it out and we'll tack it up. I'm running 150 amps here. Ready for attack on top? Go for it. As you see, before the tack cooled off, he actually lifted the fitting. Makes it a little easier when that tack's still warm. Try to square it up a little bit. When we did tack, the fitting was kind of leaning a little bit. We're level there. It's gonna go ahead, put the level in the same plane, level this uh, fitting out right there. You're good there. Okay. Tack on bottom. Go for it. We are now square, you know, this direction. Now we need to check that our fitting isn't, you know, turned left to right right now. So this is kind of hard to do. You know, these fittings are never kind of forged correctly. They're never really straight. You know, I kind of like to eyeball it, kind of look at the, the center line and see what we got. So Moya here is going to take a look at it. As you can tell, as you can see, he's, he's having to move it this way to my left. Good there, man. Tacking on this side. So, gonna go ahead and tack on this side. Switch over and tack on this other side as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tack this top one up. Sitting the pipe all the way down, putting a mark. He's gonna go ahead, lift it up. How's that look? We got our eighth inch gap right here. All right, so be ready for attack. You see, before it cooled off, again, he pulled the pipe straight. No, it makes it very hard if you let that tack completely cool and then try to straighten it out. All right. So as you can see, he's double checking the level there. And now he's going to level the pipe up right there. He's putting it on the other side there, so that way I have room to tack. All right. So we've got it level this direction here. Now we're gonna double check that this line and this line are square. So another way to double check 
you know, that these two pipes are square is actually just using a square instead of that level. So just make sure this is locked down on your tri-square, you know, a regular square. Pull it back just a little bit, forward, right on to a little more. Okay. What we're doing right here is moving the square to an even number, measuring the inside first, then coming up to the top and measuring here. You can see it needs to come in a little bit. Attack the throat. All right, so we're going to go ahead and fit up this overhead socket weld here. So he's doing the same thing, bottoming out the pipe, marking it up so we can give it the 1 8 gap. And just as a note guys, you can see he cleaned this end here. We've got a nice square end. You don't want to have a, you know, a really crooked cut. When it sits into that socket, it's not going to have an even gap all the way around anymore. You know, you may have an eighth on one side, you may not have any gap on the other. So always make sure that your pipe is pretty square when you, uh, Cut this and put them in the sockets. I know you can't see it once it's installed and stuff, but it's very important. You know, sometimes they do shoot x-rays on these to verify gap, and you can really see if the gap's in there and if that pipe is crooked. You know, insufficient gap or too much gap, that pipe will be rejected and you'll have to cut it out and redo that weld. Right right, open it up just a little bit. We got our one eighth there, double checking it, stacking it up. All right, so those two pipes are now in line with each other. Now we need to check it, check the square with this one here. He's gonna go ahead and hit it in. Come in just Three and three eggs. There we go, back to the throat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the first pass, the root pass here kind of on this first weld, this first flat weld here, which is our easiest one to do. I'm running 140 amps, running 1A 70S6 wire. I'm basically having my wire all the way to the corner. You know, I'm melting up towards the pipe, trying not to undercut that and melting down towards my fitting here, reaching the outer edge of that socket fitting. You now I'm just trying to keep a nice consistent walk as well. I'm just adding the same amount of filler metal. That way that first pass is nice and even. All right, so I'm gonna grind the stop, get rid of that little silica that builds up. Okay, for our second pass, I lowered the machine to 130. You know, the fitting is a little bit hot already, so I'm gonna kind of compensate by lowering the amperage. You see my stops over here? I'm gonna start in a different area. You don't wanna overlap start and stops here. You will, you know, if you get any indication and you kind of stack them on top of each other, that's an easy way for that weld to leak. And again, guys, I'm holding the wire up on the high side. Don't wanna undercut the pipe. That's like the most common indication you'll see on a socket weld is undercut, keeping the wire up and basically pulling the puddle down all the way to the socket edge. I'm gonna grind the stop right here. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and brush it, clean it right up so I can put my cap. All right, so gonna go ahead and put the cap pass on here using 332nd 70S6, running 125 amps. And again, I'm gonna try to go all the way around here without stopping. The reason I'm adding a little bit more, this weld is kind of a little bit concave here. And what I wanna do is make it a little more square, give it enough filler. I just personally, I like the way that looks better. To me, it looks more presentable than just leaving it like this. You know, it'd still be okay like this, but I prefer adding a little more on there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tackle this weld here. Gonna start putting our fill passes in here. The trick on this one, in this position here, is keep your wire up on this upper side, comb down. Like this socket weld up here, we had it up here, combing down. Even down here, we're gonna keep it always on the top side. On a socket weld, you're basically just putting a fillet weld on this joint here. It's not a penetrating, not a full penetration weld or anything. All you're doing is putting a little fillet weld on the edge of this joint here, just to seal it up. Okay, we're gonna put our second fill pass here, 130 amps still. And the goal, you know, just try to fill in here and try not to upper to undercut both edges here. I'm gonna go a little past right here on this fill. I don't wanna stop directly on top where I did the first pass. Wanna stagger them a bit? No. Start on this, if you finish on this end, next one try to get over on the other side. Use 332. I lowered it down a little bit. We're at 120 amps. Cap up the other side. Okay, gonna go ahead and start filling up this overhead socket weld here. And on this particular overhead weld, keeping the wire up on top all the time. You know, we are fighting gravity on this weld. You can tell it's, it's probably the most uncomfortable weld of the three. Got our first pass in there. Go ahead and grind our stop. Go ahead, put our fill pass in. Filling in the same way as the other two. Just here keeping our wire up on the socket since it's above us. The main thing here is just keep a nice even fill on this fillet. You know, if you guys are just starting out, you may not be able to move around. You know, that's okay. You guys have to stop. Just make sure you clean everything when you stop, restart. Coming up on our tie-in. So we're gonna let this cool for a bit and then go ahead and put our cap on it. All right, so gonna put our last cap pass here using a 70S6, 332nd. I'm running 125 amps. Keeping the wire again up on top. Trying not to undercut the fitting. Well, that's why we let it cool off a bit. If it's too hot, you guys will start undercutting the pipe and the fitting possibly. There you have it guys, I'm Moya and I just showed you guys how to fit up the socket weld. I'm David Sirisa, showed you guys how to weld these. You know, from my experience, these are the three most common positions you'll encounter. And if you guys like any of the cool gear you saw us use here, the medium cut pipe liner, flip adapter, the new Clearview HD lens, visit wildlife.com, pick you up one. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.